And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, I'm officially on Instagram, my username is danpwd96, and in celebration of me joining the platform, I'm giving away a brand new Rangers Away shirt. All you need to do is follow my profile and like my most recent photo, and a winner will be announced later this week. This will be a common theme on my Instagram guys i'll be giving stuff away from either the rangers official store or from our own clothing site so make sure you are following the page so you can win loads of cool prizes dan pwd 96 anyway guys let's get into today's video we have got a bit of transfer updates with regards to two potential signings those of course being danilo and jose simfuentes we're going to also be going through the latest regards to borna barisic and of course talking about the game tomorrow as rangers are back in action once again as uh, the first proper pre-season friendly um, starts against Newcastle United. Uh, let's start with the game tomorrow then. Look, Rangers, as I said, back in action. Newcastle United coming to St. Uh, not St. James's Park, coming to Ibrox um, for Alan McGregor's testimonial. This will likely be, to be fair, we haven't actually heard any news of Alan McGregor's actually retiring. I haven't heard anything about him retiring um, just yet. I, we're just assuming he is. I don't think he's officially said that he's retiring. Uh, but of course, his testimonial is tomorrow where he will say goodbye to the uh, Rangers faithful that game is sold out and against Newcastle United uh, one caveat to this I don't know um, though I do know a bit about Newcastle United in terms of their squad coming up to Irox it's not going to be their full sort of team uh, there will be their players there um, as they are going to be flying out to America for their preseason tour straight after the game uh, but it's likely to be sort of their youngsters and uh, well some there are going to be some good players there as well but um, as I said most of them are only just returned turn back from to preseason last week so they have a week within in their legs um so i'm not expecting to have a the, the star studded team out as as i said they are all going to be up there but they're flying out to america um straight after the game but it will be a good game good to see rangers back in action again um and then hopefully as i say yeah gearing up towards the new campaign so yeah see what Michael Bill and some of these new signings get an eyes on some of the new players seven new players to, to see so hopefully we de they do impress um, as I say I do take pre-season with a pinch of salt because I remember last year I was massively overhyping uh, Matondo he looked unbelievable in pre-season but as soon as the season started well it didn't really live up to it so uh, we'll take it with a pinch of salt I won't get carried away this year um, but as I say I'll probably be doing a live watch along for that one guys um, so so yeah, do tune in ready for that one at 7.45 p.m. tomorrow. Anyway, guys, let's get into some transfer news. Yes, of, of course, over the last sort of couple of days, most of the rumours have been regards to sort of outgoings. We sent Antonio Sholak leave, Glenn Kamara, Scott Wright, McLaughlin, all these fashions of Carla, all these players are also being linked with a move away. And I did say that Rangers sort of priority after sort of serial deaths would be trying to trim the fat around the squad. Um, basically, now I'm just trying to look as to see what's happening now in terms of the uh, in terms of the stuff of regards to Rangers is that they are interested in Danilo and I've got to provide you an update with regards to him and of course Jose Sinfuentes. Now starting with Danilo, look plays for Vayner or Rotterdam currently been heavily involved in their pre-season preparations um, but it is being reported in Dutch media that Feyenoord are one willing to let him go and two Rangers are very interested and want to land the player. It is reported that Rangers have made a second bid. However Arne Slot has supposedly came out this week stating uh, Danilo or players that could leave are not going to be uh, um, granted uh, permission to leave um, until they have a replacement in place. So Feyenoord basically want a Champions League-esque striker ready to go within their ranks before they do let Danilo leave. So that one uh, is an update with regards to there. So it could be a bit of a waiting game. It could be a thing where Feyenoord have to make a move first and then, of course, Rangers can then start negotiations or try to get the player. But reports at the time of recording state that Rangers have made a second bid. Um, the player wants to go as well. So uh, we'll certainly see how this one sort of pans out. But as I said, fair order looking for a replacement. Uh, with regards to Jose Simfuentes, now reports coming from the fourth official, uh, fairly uh, reputable journalist team, um, basically stating that Jose Simfuentes um, talks are going to be back on again about a move over this week. Obviously, the MLS going on break um, and 
they are reporting basically the crunch talks will happen once more and Rangers will look to try and negotiate a fee for Jose Sinfuentes and get him to the club over the sort of next week. It has been a sort of bit of a saga. Um, Rangers agreeing terms or so with the player and could land him in December or are going to land him in December, but the club do want him here in this summer transfer window. Uh, however, LAFC have been kind of reluctant to do business on the cheap uh, and Rangers sort of are going to be going back to the negotiation table with LAFC now that the MLS break is on. But as I say, Rangers looking to land those two players at a bare minimum. Of course, centre-back as well. Jonathan Panzo, that sort of stuff has gone quiet as well. But Rangers do need another centre-back on or are expected to sign another centre-back over this sort of transfer window as well. So starting to start to hear things. Um, as I said, update with Jose Sinfuentes and an update with Danilo. Uh, of course, just to conclude, Danilo, well, he wants to, to go to Rangers. Rangers are submitting a, will have, reportedly submitted a second bid. However, Feyenoord are not going to let the player go until they have a Champions League replacement lined up for them. And with Jose Sinfuentes, talks are set to resume over a potential deal this summer, this week. So as I said, hopefully we'd start to hear some stuff with regards to positive transfer news over this next week. So exciting times for Rangers. But that's not going to stop on the outgoing front, guys. As I said, Antonio Sholak has gone to Parma. However, more players are set to leave. Michael Beal wants to recoup some money um, to try and invest back into the squad as well. £2.5 million pounds for Antonio Sholak. Great. A uh, bit of business. Um, but as I said, Rangers supposedly are trying to offload Fashion Zakala, Scott Wright, John McLaughlin, and also reports down south are sort of um, snowballing, stating that Nottingham Forest do want to try and sign Borna Barisic. So this one could be an interesting one to watch. I know Borna Barisic certainly splits opinion. However, as I said, it could be another player that could demand, one, a transfer fee, and two, a player that's sort of getting older, the new guard are sorting to emerge. So as I said, Rangers in past have made an arse of getting rid of players that were holding on to players for too long so I do think those sorts of players is a good time to try and cash in on him if of course there is a transfer fee there available so that's all I've really got for you today guys um, a bit of an update with regards to incomings but do expect more outgoings over the next couple of days um, but yeah do let me know your thoughts so far on one Rangers transfer window and how many players do Rangers need to side before the start of the Champions League qualifiers and the start of the Scottish Premiership season. As I said, let me know how many players they need and what sort of positions. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, guys, I am on Instagram. Do follow my page, DanPWD96. I'm giving away a brand new Rangers Away shirt in celebration of rejoining and all you have to do to enter is follow my page and like the most recent post. Thank you guys and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.